The World Health Organization wants you to stop using names such as the UK or India variants. The health agency just rolled out a new naming system. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the reasoning behind the change. Say goodbye to the UK variant. According to the World Health Organization, it's now officially the Alpha variant. The South Africa variant is now the Beta variant. The Brazil variant is the Gamma variant. And the India variant is the Delta variant. The WHO says its new naming system based on the Greek alphabet will be easier, more practical, and less stigmatizing than the location-based monikers. If we don't change the names and the terminology, then the racism will get sustained. Asian American Studies professor Russell Jung says just look at the hate crime incidents over the last year. His group, Stop AAPI Hate, documented more than 6,600 incidents targeting Asian Americans since the start of the pandemic. One study found there was an exponential jump in anti-Asian rhetoric on social media after former President Donald Trump first tweeted the phrase Chinese virus. Time and time again, Asians have been attacked because people are threatened by us. And I think it's because of the terminology. I really blame the term Chinese virus as been deadly for Asian Americans. Location-based terminology is everywhere in medicine. Zika, Ebola, West Nile virus, Lyme disease from Lyme, Connecticut. And for over a century, doctors have known about the problems with linking a virus to a country. Take the 1918 Spanish flu. It wasn't accurate, uh, probably didn't originate in Spain. Some people even think it originated in the United States. UC San Francisco's Dr. Peter Chinhong says what people think of as the California variant was actually found earlier in Denmark. Scientists will keep using the numerical lineage names like B117, but the WHO says that's too confusing for the average person. So once they determine one rises to the level of a variant of interest, they'll give it a Greek letter. Dr. Chinhong says the new system certainly has benefits, but it has challenges too. There are 24 Greek letters, and the WHO has already assigned 10 of them. There's so few of them compared to the vast number of variants being created. Uh, it's going to be, I think, difficult um, to kind of keep track with what's going on. Then there's the question of whether these Greek names can actually catch on. Many would say it's too little, too late for some of the high profile variants. But he says, unfortunately, this virus isn't going away. Many scientists think it could resurface each year like the flu. So the new Greek letters could be useful in the future. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Scientists have tried Greek letters before. In past years, meteorologists used them to name hurricanes after they exhausted the English alphabet. But after a record number of storms last year, they announced the Greek letters caused too much confusion and they gave up on the strategy.